Hello, good morning. I'm CK here. So today I'm going to talk about working capital cycle. So working capital cycle is basically how many days the business is out of pocket before receiving full payment in cash. Okay, it basically means that like when you are doing a business, it's very common for you to pay cash for a normal transaction to purchase or to invest into some working capital. Like for example, inventory. You pay cash to purchase inventory and then uh, you need to wait some time for you to sell the inventory to your customers and then uh, it could take some time for you to collect back all the money from your customers also. Okay, so the period between you pay cash and receive cash is what we call working capital cycle. Okay, and from here, I think you can kind of tell that why we also call that cash conversion cycle. So both of them, they are having the same meaning actually. Okay, in the next slide, I'm going to uh, share with you the formula of cash conversion cycle. As you can see, it is reservable days plus inventory days minus payable days. And all the formula will be right above, you know, all the ratio as you can see. We are going to talk about that one by one. Okay, I will start with reservable days. Reservable days is the number of days that a customer invoice is outstanding before it is collected. Okay, it basically means that uh, every time when your company is selling on credit, how long does your company take to collect back all the money from its customers? Okay, that one, we call that reservable days. While inventory days will be every time when your company purchase inventories or manufacture inventories, you know, uh, then your company tends to like hold the inventory for some time, right? Before the inventory will be sold to the customers. So in average, that period, we call that inventory days. And the last one is going to be uh, payable days. So the payable days indicates the average time in days that a company takes to pay its bills and invoices to its trade creditors, which may include suppliers. Okay, so uh, this one to be simple, it means that whenever your company is having like credit purchase, you know, purchase something on credits from its suppliers. So how long does your company take to pay back the money back to its suppliers? That one we call that payable days. And as you can see, so the cash conversion cycle is just reservable days plus inventory days minus payable days, as simple as that. Okay, but what's the reason behind? So let's look at the reason behind. I have an example here to illustrate how does working capital cycle is calculated. So as you can see, basically it's pretty simple actually. We are just using like inventory days of 30 days plus reservable days, 30 days, minus payable days, 15 days. Then we have the answer. The working capital cycle or what we call cash conversion cycle is 45 days. And you shall understand that this 45 days basically means the company, I mean the period between this company pays cash for its working capital until it wakes, until it gets back or collects back the cash from its customer or from its receivables is going to be 45 days in average. Okay. And uh, we will go through that one by one okay, to understand why the formula will be like that. We will start with inventory days first, 30 days. So inventory days of 30 days basically it means that every time when the company gets uh, the inventory and it holds that for a certain period and after that it sells the inventory out, the period in average is going to be 30 days okay, in average. But at this point, at this time, it's not the time where the company collects or like receive the cash from its inventory. Because whenever you see reservable days, basically it means that this company sells on credit. Uh, that's the reason why. Here, if this one is 30 days, uh, it means that every time the inventory is sold, the company will take in average another 30 days. So another 30 days to collect back the money from its customers. Okay, so here will be the point that where the company received the cash from its reservables or from its credit sales customers. Okay, and the last thing we need to decide is going to be, when does this company pay cash okay, for its inventory? It's not here, okay, it's not in the day number zero. The reason very simple, because we have payable days. Whenever you have payable days, it basically means that the company purchases uh, on credit, okay? So here, 
if this one is going to be 15 days, uh, as you can see, it basically means that every time after the company purchases inventory, uh, if you take in average 15 days uh, for the company to pay back the cash okay, to its suppliers. Okay, so as you can see now, it's very really clear. Okay, like what I said just now, uh, the working capital cycle or cash conversion cycle is the period between the company pays cash and receive cash. So this period, 45 days, is what we call cash conversion cycle or working capital cycle. And that's the sharing for today. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.